Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be talking about Rambo and how he can combo with all of his variation moves, and so we know how to do combo no matter what we have equipped. So, let's get into it. Now to start, I just have a base Rambo, so nothing, none of my custom moves equipped, and he still has pretty decent combos, thanks to his forward 1-2-2 two, two string. You can go into his back 2-2-1, two, two, and then cancel that into his slide, and that's going to be pretty decent damage. So I do, do something simple like this. And I just amplify at the end. I didn't have to amplify, but it made it about 300 damage and it's charging up the crushing blow. So that's very good. And if I have done that, um, the slide, uh, two times on block, I mean, on if I've done the amplify two times, the next time I get a hit, I'll be able to do the, um, the crushing blow for it. So it's always good to be charging up that and you can get a big chunk of damage to save you in the last round up if you've done it that many times. Um, obviously, other than that, he's not going to be getting too many combos because he doesn't have any combo starters um, on his own, like without anything equipped. But you know, obviously he'll be able to get some combos off of his jumping attack by doing something like this. Excuse me. And basically the same way. Um, and also, instead of ending in the slide, if you don't want to, you can end in the... Um, this trap thing, which leaves the opponent a bit further away in case you want to start like zoning and throwing some projectiles. And speaking of combos, I guess it's a combo. You can actually combo his arrow shots together. If you hold down the button and when you release it, you hold it down again and you release it, hold it down again and then release it, you can actually do that a lot quicker and then just they will actually combo. And get 140 damage, which is a ton of damage for a single projectile, because that was basically you hit one projectile and you get 140 damage if you do the older ones following it. So that's very good. Other than that, he's not going to be getting many combos um, in his basic self, other than like, you know, up of the down two, two crushing blow, he can get something like... It's very hard to get his down one um, extension in there, and it doesn't really add that much damage. You can, you know, just go for this and it's going to be really big damage anyways. Just from doing the down two crushing blow into a string into the fatal blow, being about 50%. Yeah, oh my god, 53% just for that, that's really big damage. And um, he also has his forward throw crushing blow, which is really good because it leaves your opponent just standing in front of you, so you can go in for your meterless combo launcher. And, yeah, that happens sometimes if you mess up the timing. <laughs> it just goes the wrong way. So you have to do a delay on um, the... some of the stuff a little bit. Oops. And there we go, and that's going to be really big damage as well. And this cost me zero meter, but I could also just go in for the, you know, the slide and it'd be about 300 and a bit damage. So, very good crushing blows, and it's cool how he still has combos even when he doesn't have literally anything equipped. So, now let's get into what he can do when he does have special moves equipped. Now this variation that I have right here, I have a feeling is going to be basically the most popular variation, because he has this combo launcher and the command grab. Uh, yeah. So, in this variation, you basically, if you can do this combo, you're going to be doing this consistently, because I think it's probably one of the most optimal combos he can do with this move. So you do the jump 2, into a forward 3, into a back 2-2-1 two, two, after you've launched them, and it looks like this. Oops, messed it up. You do need to do a dash after the jump in. And that is huge damage, 365, so... Very big for one bar, like 365, that's way above average for one bar. It can be a little bit difficult, but, and also this pop-up is so useful. Um, you can do it from other situations, which we'll talk about later. But you can also amplify the command grab if you want a little bit extra damage. Oops, I still have easy crushing blows on. No, nope. Just want them off. Sorry, I'll do that one more time to see what the damage actually would be. So almost 40% if you spend the two bars, but there's not really a point because it's still going to be really big damage anyways. And this pop-up is so amazing, so it's... I, but the reason why I think everyone's going to be using it is not only is it a combo tool, and everyone loves combos, but it's also a low, so it adds to his mix-ups, you know how he has like this double overhead string, he goes back one to one, he can go back one to low, or back just that low, and this safe, this string on its own is safe in case you don't know. 
on block it's minus eight, and he has a bunch of overheads, like this overhead too, so it can go into a bunch of mix-ups from a lot of things, mixing up into combos, even if they don't convert, like actually combo sometimes, like that one does, but the other one didn't. But so it's mix-ups, but it's also a zoning tool, because it reaches completely full screen. But it's also an anti-zoning tool, because he bends down while he does it. So you can go under someone's projectile, completely like nullify their projectile, but then you actually get to go in for a full combo, just because you managed to hit them, like you ducked under their projectile and amplified. You can go into something super simple like that, and then you've made like a huge comeback against a zoning character. You know, go into one projectile, amplify your thing, and you've got this big damage for the comeback. Yeah, like 40% super easily, and like depending on how far you are, like away you are, you can just go in for like a normal combo, like just, and get the decent damage. And then, oh yeah, the command grab, I messed it up slightly. And if you're wanting to combo into a fatal blow from it, um, it, unless your per timing is completely perfect with this combo, I'll try once, but um, it's very hard to do can link that, but you have to be like frame perfect with all of the extensions, and that's really hard. But what I find works pretty well is you just do a jump 3, and then dash in, and then this leads to really big damage anyways. And it's a lot, a lot easier. <laughs> so if you're playing online and you're wanting the combat, like, there's not too much different, like it's a 10 or 20 percent, uh, like, adds like 10 more damage. It's like not that much more of a difference, but yeah, if you're wanting a comeback, just do a slightly simpler one, I think. Um, but not only is this move just really good for combos, it's also good for utility. So say I'm in the corner, I just move us over, and he's got me cornered, and you know, he's doing his Terminator stuff. If I get one hit, and I, you know, just get a combo in, it, it, it leaves him up there for so long, I can just do my combos and like switch sides, and ha now have him in the corner. So, it's a really good move, I have time to dash under, and then, you know, just go in for some combo that I've switched the sides on. So if I do something, if I'm in the corner, even if I just want to keep it simple and do something like this, it's going to be really big damage. And I've got him in the corner now, and I can go for my random mix-ups. And they're a lot better in the corner, by the way, because, you know, his overhead crushing blows, if he hits it twice, then that's a lot easier to do if you're in the corner and they don't get launched away. You know, he can mix it up with his sweep that is very safe, you know, he's got pokes and a plethora of mids. And in this variation, when you have below, you have a lot more mix off of his strings that have a bunch of overheads in them. There's just so much that he can do, and so he's even more scary in the corner, so it's really good that he's able to side switch with his combo tool. Yeah, very important to him. Oops. <laughs> uh... I may as well show a corner uh, combo while we're here in the corner. So you can, if you do have the opponent in the corner, you can do something like this. But honestly, they're going to be kept about the same, because you can extend it a bit more, like with the jump 3. But you're going to be doing basically the same combos. And sometimes, like, the timing of this is a bit hard to get into the Fatal Blow, because it has, like, a little bit long of a startup. So I just do 1-2. That's gonna be big damage as well, but it's gonna be pretty similar to what you would do anyway, so his combos don't get crazy, like, big when he's in the corner. But, you know, it just makes it easier for him to extend it to some things, like, you know, after you get the... Maybe you get this. You can get, you know, jumps. And then go into like, you know, some down ones or something. I do. But yeah, you're gonna be doing basically the same combos because they do really big damage anyways, but you can just extend them slightly. You know, maybe do some down ones into the string, but I haven't labbed that yet, so I'm probably gonna mess it up if I try. <clears throat> okay, moving on to his next moves. Um, this variation that I have is kind of all of his setup moves. So they don't lead to like guaranteed combos, so you can't like hit confirm and then go into a combo with these. But they are very useful tools and you can combo off of them if you've like set them up and you get the situation situational setups correctly. So what I have is the claymore that explodes and the like airdrop explosive. I don't know what that's called. Um artillery strike, where he throws out the grenade, you can do it like short, far, or medium. You can throw out a bunch of these, by the way, if you don't know. Like, this is a crazy move, I love it so much. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so these two moves 
are moves that are just basically explosions and you can combo with them. So like with this Claymore, if you place it down and the opponent like walks into it, so I'll just place it down and then I guess just quickly take control over Terminator. You know, if I try to run in and do mix-ups, I'll just, yeah, blow up. And if the Rambo player thinks they're going to walk into it, and they do, he can jump into the air and get super easy conversions off of it. Because it does launch him into the air for quite, like, a large pop-up. So it's pretty easy to get conversions off of it if you're not bad, like me. Uh, oh no, I don't have the command grab anymore. So yeah, just do something like... Come on. I guess just into the that yeah so like something simple like this excuse me I said simple of course I drop a combo as soon as I call it simple it's just how things work so yeah you get 250 damage just for like seeing that your claymore hits so that's really cool you know and there are, are a lot of good ways you can set up into this whether it's off of like you know you just have it sitting out and your opponent walks into it or, you know, you can have situations where you push them into it, like, like this. You can't actually combo off of that. But if you do any move and you manage to, like, get over it and you've, like, crossed to the other side, and I do, like, you know, my 4-2, he gets pushed into it and then it actually combos and I can jump up and do something. So if I do something like, say, this, I can actually combo off of that now if I push them into the Claymore. Ah, wait, why did I do that? Come on. Just push them in, and then, you know, wow, that's pretty big, 300 damage for zero meter, just because you managed to push them into the claymore, that's pretty good. <clears throat> and there's also kind of more risky ways you can do it, like if your opponent is, um, like not wanting to counter poke you, because maybe, you know, you've got the thing with the, the crawl and the parries and stuff, so they respect you a bit, or maybe you just, like, are able to hit a poke, so, you know, you punish something with a poke, but you actually just place the claymore down. And now it's just sitting down there, because that actually gives you enough time to place it down if you cancel it, I believe. Maybe that's punishable, a lot of people don't if they hit it, because they're kind of scared about it, and then they try to jump out of the way, or like just kind of poke back and they get hit by it. And then if that works, then obviously you can get a combo off of it. And just like before, obviously you can combo into a fatal blow, and it'll do, yet again, another big chunk of damage. Yeah, pretty big for just for hitting an unblockable landmine. You can also, if you want to be a bit more fancy and less like guaranteed, you can go into the four three like we were before. But that just makes it a little bit more difficult and can like waste your setup if you end up messing up the combo, like I do. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that doesn't work, Mr. Overrun. Even do it then, but you know, it'll just make it a little bit more damage. Oh, come on, I can do it. <laughs> One more try, okay? Two more tries, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I nearly hit it before. What? Why do I suck now? Come on, this is so rude. But yeah, whatever. You'll get like nearly 300 damage, which is really amazing for an unblockable setup. Now the next one is the Artillery Strike, and this one's more of like a uh, a setup move, because you throw it like, you actually get to throw it out instead of just placing it in front of you. So you can actually choose to put it on the opponent, so a lot of the time it's going to be used more for pressure and the, the opponent's going to end up blocking it. But if they don't for some reason, you know, block it, which most of the time they will be, because, you know, they see this massive explosion thing coming for them so they'll block it but it's like plus what 53 it's pretty crazy yeah 55 plus 55 so you can go in for like throws super easily and yeah very good move but if per chance they don't get hit by it and something that you're going to be doing anyways if they do block it you can jump in and this kind of lets you like option let select doing jump jumping in because you know they're not going to be able to anti-air you when that's coming out and then you know you can go in for mix-ups or you know the overhead or overhead low so after you've done something and ended in like this per se, or actually after this you have to do the close one, if they actually don't block and you're jumping anyways, that's really good, 
because you can actually just get a combo off of it. So if I have him not block, I can do, so I say, here, if I do a combo like this, and they don't block it, oh, I was meant to jump it way earlier than that, because, you know, we're jumping because, you know, we think they're going to block and they get pressure, and they end up don't blocking, and then we can get a combo anyways. Don't know why I did that combo, but you can see if you just get a jump in, you know, get a combo off of it pretty easily. Here, I'll try something else. Excuse me. You just go into like the same string we've been using this whole time. <laughs> this one, and then, yeah, see, 250 again. Really big, and it's kind of option select, so like, even if you just want to do that as they block. Once again, I'll just show. So this time he's gonna block. And then I go into this string, you know, I can even go in for the, the overhead there as well. This string has a mix up as well, because it can end in an overhead or a low. So yeah, really strong mix and you know, if they do block it, it doesn't really matter because you can do the same thing either way, just jump in. I would go in for that, or if they do just get hit by it, it doesn't matter because you can be doing the same thing anyway, so you don't even need to change what you're doing. And uh, yeah, very cool stuff. What else do I have in here? Um, oh, the, the eating the ant. Yeah, that's not really going to help you do combos too much. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, that's how you're going to combo with those two. Let's move on. In this next variation, I believe I have kind of all of his zoning moves together. So once again, they're not re going to really lead to combos. Like this gun, the gun move, you can't... I don't think you can combo from anything, like not even a deep jump in. Yeah, like, even off of a really fast jump in, you can't do it, so... You definitely can't do it off of any strings, it doesn't work. You know, it can keep him safe and stuff, but... It's not gonna be for combos, it's just a cool move. The other move is, uh... This. And I also have that, okay. Okay, that will lead to combos. So, um... I don't believe you can really end combos too consistently with the, the swing. Yeah. The amplified version does do quite a bit of damage, so you can use it like if you're wanting some unbreakable damage. You can end some combos with it. Like if say if I you know want unbreakable damage off of this. I can do oh. <laughs> I can do something like that, you know, to keep them on the ground. But once again, this isn't really a move you can be using for combos, but it is a very good move, and if you watch my breakdown you'll see it's very good and can lead to a lot of damage if you set it up correctly. <laughs> okay. The one move in this variation that isn't the guns and isn't this, like, anti uh, log swing is the roll. And this roll is extremely good for so many reasons, and I explain it more in my breakdown video. It has, like, plus frames if you ampli- excuse me. It has plus frames if you amplify with an overhead, so not only is it plus frames, it's also kind of a mix-up. So, like, there's a chance that it'll just get hit by the overhead anyways. But yeah, so it's got plus frames, it's got pressure with cancels, where you can, you know, just go into throws. Uh, excuse me, I said go in. Go into throws. Or, if you just throw it out, and because, you know, the normal version, it just does this mid-strike, you know, it just makes the opponent, you know, respect you, you have to do something off of it, so they don't, don't want to get hit by that for no reason. <clears throat> but, um, but you can roll under projectiles as well. But what's really cool about this, and I'm sure everyone knows about it already, and I don't know, I've been trying to hype it up, but uh, you can get a crushing blow if it's a counter hit or punish. I'm just going to check that because suddenly I'm doubting myself, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, counter or punish, he gets this crushing blow, and it j has the same animation and has the same effect as his other, as his throw crushing blow. And so yeah, he can get combos off of it. And there's a few ways you're going to get this. Either, like, if you <clears throat> someone's trying to zone you out, so if I take control of Terminator here and make him throw a projectile... Oh. Oops. <laughs> but like, pretend it's a normal projectile and I just, you know, go under it. <clears throat> like, oh yeah, went under the projectile, completely dodged it, and I get to punish their projectile. And go in for a full combo punish, just because I got that crushing blow. And, you know, it's their fault. Wait, I just had a realization. Because that, that crushing blow leaves him standing. If I haven't, like... Wait, stop. If I haven't jumped or been hit for a while, and I, I have easy crushing blows on, so it'll happen either way. Here, wait, I'll turn them off just in case it does, this doesn't work. But can I combo into my throw crushing blow from this? So I'll just stand here for a few seconds, is it, till it's about 10 seconds. 
So we do this one. Oh wait. Uh, I need the easy crushing blows on for this. Now can I combo into my throw crushing blow? Oh no. Okay, so I just made it so you just actually can't throw. Yeah, okay. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna work for combos um, anyways. But the, the other way you're gonna set this up is like, <clears throat> if you've been going in for a lot of pressure with this, like, going into like cancels and into throws and stuff, or maybe you've done a cancel into like, uh, into like overheads and you've been like mixing them up a ton with this move, you know, like amplifying it for overheads and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. And they're starting to like press buttons on you. Like if you just do it and then just do the normal version sometimes, just whack them, get the crushing blow and get a combo for it. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's move on to the next variation, and this is the last set of moves. There's only two left. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So in this variation, we have the, the like, string extensions. So he has some throws at the end of some of his strings. So instead of just 1-2-1, one, he now has 1-2 grab, which adds a bit of damage to the end of it, I guess. Like, if you want extra damage for some reason. But what really matters about these... And they're not really combo tools, but they're mainly just like mix-up tools because they actually are true throws. Similarly with this one, and this one's crazy because it's off of his fast combo starting like mid. And he gets a throw off of it now, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Once again, they're not really combo tools. Um, they're just good for throws. But the third one actually is a pretty good combo tool because it's a plus 10 restand off of his back three. So if he goes back three grab, 154 damage and a plus 10 restand is a really good way of ending a lot of combos. So if you were in one of the other variations, like if you've got this equipped with, um, maybe the, uh, other, what's it called? The thing where he picks you up with a rope. <clears throat> you could, uh, combine this with that and then end combos with this, and then you don't, you know, you're denying your opponent of having wake-ups. Excuse me. Um, you know, they don't have wake-ups, and you're also plus 10, so you know you can dash in. Do your overhead, dash in, do a grab, you know, use your 100 mids, because they all reach from about this range. Like his 4-2 like nearly reaches there, like you can just do a quick micro dash in and use his hundreds of mids that he has that are really good. So yeah, that's actually a good combo tool. See, and you can do, even do it off of a jump kick, and that's pretty decent damage just there. So yeah, that's a pretty good move. But the... Last one, this is just the command grab I had equipped in it that we did in the first variation, but the last thing is this crawl, which is really awesome. I talk more about the crawl and like how useful it is and how amazing it is, like you know with the strike throw game, like it is really amazing pressure tool, like I'll just quickly talk about it, like you can either do like a low low and they think you're gonna keep doing lows and then you do a throw, and then because you've done all that crawling you actually get the crushing blow genuinely, or maybe after they think you're gonna keep doing those lows and keep doing the same thing over again, you just decide to go straight into the throw this time, you know, you get a throw guaranteed, because it's actually a mid man grab, this one. Or, you know, maybe you just do one strike, and then go into the throw. And maybe if they, they have something really good, and they just keep poking you every time you do it, you can just go into the parry. And even if you mistime the parry, you can actually hold down and go back into the stance. And, like, just keep doing parries over and over again. Like, if you mistime your parry, you can go straight back into another one. So it's, like, almost like a parry you can hold, like, scarlets. So it's really good, and so you can counter their poking. And, you know, if you've got them respecting you and not poking, then you get to do these, like, stabs, and then going into throws. It's such an amazing tool. And it's a better command grab than his other command grab, because it's actually a mid command grab. So he can, like, if you they have him blocking anything, you can just, like, cancel into that and then go into the grab. Something like this as well. Just off of any of these things where they, you know, you've got your opponent blocking, and they're just not ready to take a mid throw. It's really amazing. And, you know, if they you do think they are gonna... Like, you know, do something about it, you can do a parry, or you can just do the quick strike to stop them, because this quick strike actually does combo. So that actually leads to mix-ups as well, so not only can, like, is it mix-ups with a throw, it's mix-ups, like, this is a double overhead. You know, throw in some lows, and you know, run in and do a throw. It's such an amazing move in so many ways. But, uh, it's also useful because it makes your combos do a bit, a little bit more damage. So if I do this combo here... Oops, and mess it up. I can actually end it in the stance into the into the grab. <clears throat> and 
and that adds a decent bit of extra damage to my combos, 284 compared to it would usually be like 230 if I didn't spend any meter. So like that was completely free right there. And that's like as much damage as a lot of characters in cards cast get with like one bar. So that's really good damage that he gets. And you know, if he gets something like his throw crushing oh his throw crushing blow, obviously he can do that combo off of it and he can get like really good damage without spending meter thanks to this little bit of extra damage. From this move. Excuse me. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I guess that would never work, but you know, it's gonna do about 350 damage, <clears throat> which is really good for uh, spending no bar. But, anyways, that's actually all, all of Rambo's custom moves, and there's nothing left to actually show combo wise. So, I hope this video really helped you and I hope you now understand how to do combos no matter what variation you have equipped with Rambo. Because he is really a fun character and I think it's really awesome how he has so much variety in different moves. And yeah, he can combo basically no matter what things you're using thanks to his forward 1, 2, 2. But some of his other things like his, um, his down back 3 that he has in that variation add to a ton more com combo potential. And just other things like, you know, here we have Something that doesn't actually use four combos, but can, you know, add a bit of damage to his combos. That's not real. Don't. <laughs> sorry. That's just easy crushing gloves. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.